Everybody loves electrical and computer engineers right now. The demand is very high. What's happening now is that, is that all kinds of devices and products and systems that are being used in industry and even consumer products like cars and appliances, they're all coming equipped with sensors and embedded computers and mechanisms for communication and control. And they're all networked. They're all talking to each other. Uh, and so somebody has to make all that work. Well, electrical and computer engineering encompasses a large field at this point, all the way from computer engineering, which is how to design and build and use computers, all the way to more fundamental electrical engineering, which is physics-based, things as like power and energy and electromagnetics. I always uh, was tearing apart, I remember tearing apart uh, our old answering machine or something like that, and I thought that circuit board was the coolest thing. Computers, like your desktop and your laptops, it just seemed like this big, huge black box. And I wanted to open that black box and see what's in it. I chose electrical because someone told me that electrical engineers use the most math out of all the types, and so that's why I picked it. Um, so, and I think I found that to be true. You use a lot of math. I like the fact that it's not as visual as a mechanical uh, field. Um, so for me, it's so much more interesting and fun. When you're uh, an engineer at Michigan Tech, you have two options as part of your graduation path. You can choose senior design or enterprise. Uh, and in both cases, students get to work on real world projects that are of interest to industry right now. Um, and often with industry support, and industry collaboration as well, so that's very exciting. Enterprise, it's a team of students here that get either a sponsored project by a company that's outside of Michigan Tech, or it's sponsored within Michigan Tech, or it's um, actually self-funded through the enterprise or through the organization itself. It takes uh, sound input from audio from iPod, computer, or from a microphone input through the air, and then it controls uh, stage lights. So we're making a pack for a belt pack for musicians that you can mix up to four channels of audio live. How do we take advantage of the wind resources when they're there and use all of them but keep a simple control structure for this smaller power system? Um, one of our running projects right now is a fully autonomous robot. His name is Bishop. He competes in the Intelligent Ground Vehicle Competition. Spectroscopy, so if you watch CSI you see those cool plots where they analyze some substance uh, that's spectroscopy, that's photonics, you, uh, that's something you can learn at Michigan Tech. I talked to a freshman who all he did was ask a professor, hey, how do I get to be able to use that? And he's working on it. Well, I go to my professor's office probably once a week, you know, if I have questions about homework, questions about exams, quizzes, you know, you just really get the feedback that you need and they really care about their students. So if they come in with a bachelor's from Michigan Tech, I know that if I give them a project and I say, this is new, this is something you're going to have to really go research and figure out how to do this, they're not afraid, right? And they don't look at me with a blank stare. It's the curriculum and the experience I get here and the, the labs are very important, the senior projects, the uh, enterprises, they're more passionate about engineering than than others. I chose Michigan Tech because it had a good reputation and I love the scenery around the whole place and outdoor sports and things like that. You get a great education while you're here because you're actually doing things, building things, solving problems. Many of the uh, of our industry partners will come to me and ask how they can get sort of access to the talent pipeline you know of the students coming out of the ECE department right now because of the skills they have, because of the demand in the industry um, and, the, and the things that we're emphasizing here in our programs.